With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is, if log a upon b minus c is equal to log b upon c minus a is equal to log c upon a minus b, then a raised to the power b plus c into b raised to the power c plus a into c raised to the power a plus b is equal to. So it is given that log a upon b minus c is equal to log b upon c minus a is equal to log c upon a minus b. Let's suppose this is equal to k, constant k. Now from here, if I found, find the value of log a, then what we get? Log a is equal to k into b minus c. This term multiply with k. And from here, log b is equal to k into c minus a. Let's suppose this is equation 1, this is equation number 2, and log c is equal to k into a minus b. Let's suppose this is equation number 3. Now, add equation 1, 2, and 3. Add equation. 1, 2, and 3. Then what we get? Log A plus log B plus log C is equal to, I am taking K as common from all three terms. So then what we get? B minus C plus C minus A plus A minus B. Now see here, B is cut by minus B. A is cut by minus A, C is cut by minus C. Then what we get? Here 0. So now log A plus log B plus log C is equal to 0. Now we know one property which says if we have log X plus log Y, then we can write as log xy so apply this property over here then we can say log a b c is equal to 0 now take anti log both side then we can say a b c is equal to e raised to the power 0 and e raised to the power 0 is 1 so a b c is equal to 1 now see here we have this so if i multiply this a and divide by a this multiply b and divide by b and this term multiply c divide by c we get log a divided by b minus c this is given i multiply a and divide by a also now second term multiply b and divide also by b c minus a is equal to log c into c upon a minus b into c. Let's suppose this is equal to k. Now from here, a log a is equal to k into a b minus a c. I just multiply a inside and from here, b log b is equal to k, sorry, huh, that's k into b c minus a b and c log c is equal to k into a c minus b c. Let's suppose this is equation number 4, this as equation number 5 and this as equation number 6. Now add these three equation 4, 5 and 6. Then we get, here we get a log a plus b log b plus c log c is equal to i am taking k as common and inside we get a b minus a c plus b c minus a b plus a c minus b c this b c is cut by this b c a c is cut by a c and a b cut by a b now we one we know one more property of log which says if we have x log y then we can write as it is y sorry then we can write this as log y raised to the power x now apply this property over here we get 
log a raised to the power x plus log b raised to the power b sorry this is a plus log c raised to the power c is equal to 0 now here is log x plus log y plus log c so apply this property we get log a raised to the power a into b raised to the power b into c raised to the power c is equal to 0 now take anti log both side we get a raised to the power a b raised to the power b dot c raised to the power c is equal to e raised to the power 0 means 1 or a raised to the power a b raised to the power b c raised to the power c is equal to 1 now in question we have to find a raised to the power b plus c b raised to the power c plus a c raised to the power a plus b we have to find a raised to the power b plus c into b raised to the power c plus a into c raised to the power a plus b now if i multiply this with a raised to the power a b raised to the power b c raised to the power c and divide also then doesn't that doesn't affect this the value of this so i just multiply with a raised to the power a b raised to the power b c raised to the power c and divide also a raised to the power a b raised to the power b c raised to the power c into we have a raised to the power b plus c b raised to the power c plus a and c raised to the power a plus b now we have a raised to the power b plus c and a raised to the power a so i can write this as a raised to the power a plus b plus c and this we can write as a b raised to the power a plus b plus c and this also c raised to the power a plus b plus c and in divide we have a raised to the power a b raised to the power b and c raised to the power c or this term we can write as a b c whole power a plus b plus c upon a raised to the power a b raised to the power b c raised to the power c now c a b c a b c value is what 1 and a raised to the power a b raised to the power c raised to the power c is equal to 1 or so from here a b c value is 1 and 1 raised to the power something is 1 and this value is also 1 so we get answer as 1 so option b is the right answer for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today